on the Databricks uh, website, you actually can download the new edition of the Learning Spark from O'Reilly. Okay, and this is an incredible book. You just have to fill in uh, this form, and then you will download the book from this link. All right. I hope that this link will work, and they will continue to offer this book for free. But for now, uh, at least you can you can download it. You will also see a lot of ads on um, on Facebook or on LinkedIn. Uh, where they encourage you to download this book because I think they they want to get more people to use Spark and implement it in their workflow. Okay, so I downloaded this book. So let's see what uh, what we have here. So we have chapter one, uh, the introduction to to Spark, and then how you can actually get started with it. You learn more about data frames and data sets then you go through how you can use Spark in applications. And as you can see from, uh, from this uh, table of contents, it's uh, a book that feels like it includes pretty much everything that is included in the in Spark Definitive Guide, but not as in-depth. Okay, so you, you get the, the gist of, of Spark, you learn a lot of things from uh, uh, from this book, from um, from this free PDF, but after reading through it, and I've checked pretty much all the chapters, I realized that, of course, it's newer and you you have uh, newer concepts in it, but it's not as in depth. But nevertheless, if you don't want to spend any money, and you want to learn Spark, I think you can download their free ebook from uh, from databricks and it would be equally equally good at the beginning so that you get up and running but if you want to have a deeper dive into the language then you would actually have to get a more in-depth book such as a spark the definitive guide and also you can see that the book is written by uh, by other guys of course you get the foreword from uh, Matej Zaharia and I'm sure that uh, these guys know what they're uh, what they're talking about, but nevertheless, I always prefer to um, to learn from, if I can, of course, from the actual creator of the language. Okay. So yeah, and also you get how you can create machine learning pipelines with Apache Spark, and this is pretty good, right? You get a lot of knowledge from Chapter Eleven, as you can see. You get like uh, help you understand how you can use MLflow, which is their own proprietary uh, service. But again, if you can get this free ebook and uh, go through it, okay, then based on that knowledge that you get from here, you can decide whether you want to actually spend more money and get a more in-depth, um, let's say, introduction to Spark. But yeah, in the end, it's up to you. I mean, always free is... Uh, is better uh, when it comes to getting most value for money, right? Because there is no money. So you will get some value with almost no cost. I really hope that this video helped you and I'll see you in the next video.